the same exact concept and process when lining the, va the base um, across the board the other way. So we did horizontal alignment, now we've got to do vertical alignment. So I'm going to put the edge of the legs on one edge of the top and I'm going to measure the distance. Now hopefully your base is straight and these are the same. If your legs are crooked or something, we'd rather straighten these out than try to figure out two different numbers because that will just be a big mess. So since it's tough to read the edge of the tape measure with the metal tab there, I'm going to start at 2 and it goes right to 3. So I've got an inch there and I got an inch there. So my base is pretty straight, pretty even. Obviously half of one inch would mean that I need to make a mark one half inch um, off each edge. So I don't really need to make the mark all the way across the top. Basically I need to know where this is going to sit right here. So I need to know how far off the edge one and half inch is right here. So I got these lines telling me where to put the base this direction. I just need to make a mark a half inch up that goes across basically about a half inch or so. So I'm going to measure up a half inch and make a mark and go down here measure up a half inch and then turn and do that same measurement half inch half inch now I'm gonna take my t-square we want this to be, to be tight so that it's making a straight line that's perpendicular or parallel parallel to this edge, perpendicular to that edge. And I'm going to make a little line, I said about, a, I don't know, an inch long down there. You know, I can flip it if, I, if it's easier to do. And then I'm going to go to the other edges. Okay, now I've got my two lines and my four lines, and that's where my base should align. So if I put the edges of my base on these vertical lines and the edges of these, these should all line up and that should be my base centered in the entire top that should my base should be centered horizontally and vertically